Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerben, and you are watching Chad Chat. So, over the past couple of weeks, Adobe has rolled out their new Creative Suite, which is now CS6, and so we have a whole new batch of software to look at and play with and have fun with and create with. So I thought I would take the opportunity with this Chad Chat to give my personal review of Adobe Flash CS6. So with that, let's begin today's episode of Chad Chat. So just so you guys know, I'm not going to give this version a grade. I'm not going to give it a letter grade or a number or anything like that. I'm simply going to give you my opinion on what I feel are the important aspects of the software. And then you can decide if you want to upgrade or download the trial and try it for yourself and so on. So to start with, let's talk about CS6 from just opening it up and viewing it for the first time. When you do this, you'll probably notice if you are a CS5 user that very little has changed when it comes to the interface. I know with some of the newer um, Adobe products, I know like Premiere, I think, they have a tweaked interface for how you view the videos and all that kind of stuff. But with Flash, you're mostly looking at the same interface. And that kind of outlines exactly what you're going to be getting into. Most of what you'll be getting out of CS6 comes from what goes on in the background. So for instance, um, you have nothing new as far as drawing tools, the bone tool, all of that remains the same. And that might become kind of a bummer for some of the animators out there who may have been looking for more robust tools. But then again, if you are happy with the Flash suite as it is, you'll be happy to know that they haven't gone through and butchered it or, you know, turned things completely around and made something that's completely alien to you. All the tools that you like to use are still there and they all work the same. There are a couple of things I want to point out, though, that I am a little bit disappointed with, especially when it comes to the animation aspect. First, I would have to say that the video exporting, I really, really wish they would update that because it really doesn't work how it should. I mean, you're given the option to choose, you know, more frames per second or a longer movie, but what if you have both? And when you export it out, typically you get glitches if your video has a lot of animation going on or if you're using an HD resolution or more typically when you have all of those elements combined with a longer movie. I did a couple of tests, just um, standard tests, and I was finding the video to hitch up every now and then, and on longer videos, I found the audio going off sync. And I mention this because with programs that I use, like Anime Studio, you can export your videos out with absolutely no problem, even if they're really complicated. It's really just easy to export stuff and it works. So I really wish they would have tweaked that in Flash, but they didn't. Um, so there's that. So if you're still going to stick around with CS6, you're going to have to use other means to export bigger videos, like splitting them up into different chunks, or using the image stream method, or any other method that you may choose to use. Secondly, I really wish that even though, you know, Flash is the industry standard for animation and interactive media, I really wish there would have been some tweaks to some of the tools. I know the Bone tool could have used some tweaks. I mean, when you compare it to Toon Boom or Anime Studio, it leaves a lot to be desired. And I know a lot of people don't like to use the Bone tool, but since it's there, I wish it would be more functional. So there are some things like that that I wish they would have tackled or added or just, you know, polished up a little bit. But all of that is left virtually untouched. And finally, it's not 64-bit either, like some of the other Adobe programs are. And so there really is no added benefit anywhere if you are into animation. Now, where the benefit does come in is if you are into mobile development or Flash applications. If you like to publish to your iOS devices, to Android devices, that type of stuff, then Flash has definitely been updated to suit these needs. There is a better um, Adobe Air integration into Flash, so you have more tools to export to your mobile devices. 
And there's also probably the biggest inclusion, HTML5 support. You can download an extension from a, the Adobe website, and then you can turn your um, Flash applications into HTML5 compatible applications. So you can still use the Flash animation suite, you know, all of the tools that you like in Flash, and then make it compatible with HTML5, which is a huge thing, especially for mobile developers and for people who are developing web content who are looking to maybe steer away from Flash since it looks like that more people are embracing HTML5 than that of the Flash infrastructure. So that um, is where you're going to get most of your updates. And finally, there's a couple of other things worth mentioning. There is now a sprite sheet um, function which allows you to export out all of your sprites or images or your animations. You can take all these symbols and put them on one sheet. And this is good for games. Let's say you're developing assets for a game. You can export them all out and see what they're doing and see what they look like and so on. And finally, they added some more 3D capabilities to Flash that you can use for interactive elements and so on. However, overall, again, when you look at Flash from the outside, a not a whole lot has been adjusted as far as the tool set or how it functions. And for me, this is probably the biggest thing since, you know, it costs money to upgrade to Flash, you know, from each version. And since I use Flash mostly for animation, for me, it probably might not be worth shelling out the money to upgrade to. However, if you are, you know, really into the mobile space of development, if you really rely on making apps through Flash, then it may be worth checking out. Or at the same, um, on the same uh, page as that, if you are into web development through interactive media and all that kind of stuff, you may also want to check out the HTML5 capabilities that Flash has as that may suit you for your own work. So anyway, that uh, concludes my little review here. I know it's not too in-depth, but again, there's not a whole lot of features I can really go into because it's pretty much mobile and HTML5. Those are the major uh, additions to CS6. So what I recommend, if you're still on the fence about this, is you go to adobe.com and you download a trial of Flash. You can try it out for 30 days and you can see if it's worth the upgrade for you. Because you never know. I mean, even though I'm into animation um, and I'm not seeing a lot of upgrades here, you may think differently. I know there's a lot of animators who watch my chat chats and view my tutorials, but you never know. You might, I might be missing something. And I encourage you too to, you know, write in the comments section here and discuss what you think of CS6 and uh, give your opinion on what you think of the software. If you have any questions for me, please go to chadchat.incredibletutorials.com and you can leave a comment or you can fill out the question form and submit a question to me. I'm also on Facebook. I have a Facebook page. I have a Google Plus page, I'm on Twitter, and I'm also on Pinterest. So there's many avenues to ask questions and view my content. And of course, you can also go on YouTube and post comments or submit questions to me there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week.